okay i'll show you all that on this practical now okay i'll show you how to buy with local currency how to sell with local currency and withdraw to bank uh okay you all you need to do i've placed the link right now right i've placed the link on the chat okay so if you have not signed up if you have not signed up okay you if you have not signed up sign up with that link now sign up with the link now and i will demonstrate this for you okay sign up now all right so let's assume you are signed up and you are in this is my this is my um this is my binance account okay i'm logged in it tells me you are signed up and you are locked in okay you want to go to your balances if you are using the mobile phone if you are using the mobile phone Mm. No, I was, I was just show you guys on mobile phone, okay? Let me just use so. So I think you go to your wallet, okay? Overview. All right, Fiat. I think Fiat and Sports. Go to Fiat and Sports. Fiat and Sports. And then you, you let's assume you want to deposit you near and buy BTC you click on you want to click on the nigerian era you can see the nigerian era here okay ngn it's highlighted here okay can you see my screen let me enlarge it great okay so uh you want to click on deposit okay if you click on deposit, uh, it will open you the deposit channel, right? You can choose to deposit by bank transfer or by card. But I prefer going by bank transfer because the fee is, is, is minimal, right? The fee is just 150. But on card, it's 1.4% of whatever you are depositing. Whatever you are depositing here, you will charge 1.4%. Okay? You select Nigerian Naira, you pay the amount. Let's say I want to deposit 100,000. I want to deposit 100,000. All right. I'm using card. I'll be charged 1,400, which is 1.4% of 100,000. But if I choose to go by a bank deposit, I'll be charged just 150. Any amount. Any amount. Okay. I will charge 150. And I will be, I'll get, you know, 99,850 on my account. So I'll click on continue. I'll click on continue okay the binance bank accounts which i'll make transfer will be displayed to me all right uh this is the amount this is the bank account number I'll copy this bank account number and then go to my bank app all right select wema bank this is the account to display binance only and once i've made this transfer I'll click come below here click i have made this transfer okay once i click i have made this transfer and after making the transfer and then the transfer will go through my nigerian error will reflect in my balance so i'm not making any transfer so i'll cancel this okay i'm just trying to illustrate to you okay view wallet you if if i if 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 after making this transfer now my nigerian error will reflect the balance hundred thousand will reflect here okay now i want to trade i will want to use this hundred thousand and buy bitcoin what do i do i'll look for say btc ngn or maybe i want to buy usdt or trx or eth or bus you can see them options here btc bm okay let's say let's say i want to buy btc with my then i'll click on btc ngn and then btc ngn pair will be opened for me Okay, but you see NGN pair is open right now for me. Now I'll come here. Is the price of one Bitcoin 6.3 million? Okay, but I have just hundred thousand. I want to buy hundred thousand worth of BTC. What do I do? 
I will come here and input the amount here. On that, the total, they say I will put 100,000. This 100,000. 100,000 will get me 0.0157 BTC. Okay? And I'll click on buy. It will automatically buy at market rate for me. Okay, it automatically buy right now. All right, so let's assume I've bought my BTC. I've bought my BTC. Now I'll go back to my I'll go back to my wallet. I'll go back to my wallet and my BTC will reflect here. We reflect in the balance here. Okay. This is BTC reflect here. All right. So I now have Bitcoin. I now have Bitcoin. Okay. Same thing if I want to sell. Same thing if I want to sell my BTC. I will go to trade and select BTC and GN pair. Okay. Select BTC and GN pair. To open BTC and GN pair for me. Uh, I want to just convert my BTC to Naira. I'll switch to the red side, which is sell, and then input the amount of BTC I want to sell. Let's say 100% of the BTC I have here. All the BTC I have here is worth 43,782. So I'll click on I'll click on sell BTC. Okay. Uh, should I sell this now? Okay, let me see. Let me see if I, I will make this. I think I should sell, convert this to Naira. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. No, I don't want to sell this now. All right. I'm, let me just, I'm just showing you. Okay, you click on sell. Click on sell. And then you sell, you convert to Nigerian Naira. So now you have converted to Nigerian Naira, you want to withdraw your Naira. After making your trade, right? After making your trade and everything, you want to convert your Nigerian Naira. So what do you do? What do you do? You come to withdraw. You click on withdraw. Okay? Click on withdraw. You select fiat. Okay, fiat currency is uh, any any country currency, Naira, USD, they are all fiat. That's correct as fiat. Uh, you can withdraw to your bank directly. Okay, the fee is just 300 Naira. You put the amount of Naira you want to withdraw. Okay, say I want to withdraw 100,000. Okay, the fee is just 200 and you get 100,000 minus 200. You click on continue. You, if you have not added your bank account here, you will have to add your bank account. Or better still, you can go to uh, account settings, okay, and add your bank account, which you might want to draw with. Okay, settings. Uh, it should be. Okay. So you might need to verify your account first, all right? You need to pass KYC so you can be able to use this exchange smoothly. Okay, the KYC is to avoid fraud, uh, kind of fraud, to protect you from fraud. Uh, because so many people who decide to use the exchange to perpetuate, you know, fraudulent activities. So what they do is. You have to do KYC. You can use your BVN, you can use your international passport, PVC, anything to verify your account. Okay. So on this payment on other settings, this way you can add payment method. You can add your bank accounts here. You can see mine is being added. Okay. Add payment method. Uh, select bank transfer. You can add add another bank account as many as you want. Right. Like that. Like that, very simple. So I just illustrated how to, you know, get used to this exchange for 